on Monday night, Brittany was accused of hitting a member of her household staff. The police went to her home and the reports they took are being handed to prosecutors to consider. Her lawyer, luckily she's got this new lawyer, um, he says that she didn't strike anyone, that she just pushed the phone that the lady was holding out of her hands and apparently there were no injuries. I think it seems rather odd that this is happening now just as she might be making progress to get her dad taken off the conservatorship. It's possible that it's just a coincidence, but the timing does seem really strange. This is going to feel a bit caffeinated, this video, I think. Not that I've actually had any caffeine. <laughs> I've had a red bush tea, but, um, but I have to rush off somewhere, so I'm, quite, I'm trying to quickly squeeze it in. In this video, I want to look at Britney's interview with Diane Sawyer, and this was when Britney was really young. She was only 21. I think the video tells us a lot about Britney. So first of all, this is how she talks about how she spends her money. It's really weird because I don't think right now I'm really like, I'm not like how I used to be. I mean, I used to roll quarters for freaking clothes, but I mean, I'm not like, if there is something about me, like if there's a sweater for a thousand dollars, I can't buy that. Like I just, there's something in me that you being raised, you know, a certain way I can't, you know, do that. She seems really quite beyond her years. So it's a bit of a surprise, considering that she's in a conservatorship, supposedly because her money shouldn't be uh, looked after by her. I mean, isn't that the whole point? And we always hear these cautionary stories of people who made so all much money, this money and then they lose their money. So yeah, and I have um, an uncle from back at home who takes care of my my big sum of money. Did she change into a completely different person between that interview and 2009 when the conservatorship started? I doubt it. We don't see any evidence for that, apart from a few times when she got angry with the media, you know, with, with all of the paparazzi standing around. And she, you know, used her umbrella in an angry way. And she shaved her hair off. But really, are those two things a sign of anything, apart from someone who's really pushed to their limit because they're constantly being followed by the paparazzi. Emily Wynne Hughes is a tattooist and Britney Spears had gone to see her after shaving her head and she'd asked her why she just shaved her head and Britney had apparently said, I don't want anyone touching my hair. I'm sick of people touching my hair. And I think that makes sense because Britney was everyone else's property. It seems like she was the property of her family and the property of her management who dictated everything she wore, apparently right down to her underwear. She was the property of the public. There's one subject we didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. What was that? Everyone's talking about it. Right. Well, your breasts. <laughs> You seem to get furious when a talk show host comes up with this <laughs> subject. Here's what 21-year-old Britney Spears said about wanting to be a mom. Yeah. That would be great. Are you thinking you'll wait till you're 30? I don't want to wait till 40. I'm 30. No, no. I would love to have a family. That, was, that would be when I'm the most content. My kids and just, I mean, that's, they become your life. It's not all about you anymore and you have a focus that's... Mm so beautiful. I remember at the time that I watched this interview many years ago thinking how that was just really impressive that someone who was 21 wanted to have kids because they were already thinking that they wanted to focus on someone else and not themselves. That's not very common for a 21 year old. Again it sounds in some ways really mature in other ways, it makes me think that she's very used to putting people before herself, even when she's really young. So it's not that weird by the time she's 21 to already be thinking that that makes the most sense. But it is another sign that she seems unusually mature and stable for her age. And so is this. I've had Amaretta Sours and if I'm gonna drink and I'm, I love red wine right now, red wine it makes me like really mellow and i like but as far as i'm such a control freak i would never be able to do feel do something that makes me feel out of i mean drinking makes me feel that way sometimes so i can't she hasn't experimented with drugs we asked starting with marijuana i've been around people and i've gotten the high off of it and that is enough for me i cannot i can't 
do that. I don't do that. Cocaine? No, I never. They left the impression that at clubs that you tried cocaine? I've experimented in, in partying, but never that. I could never do something like that. I mean, I definitely, in this industry, there's people that do that around you 24-7. So, you know, you just have to learn who you hang out with. And famously, she remained a virgin until she was with someone she was in love with. It's another sign that she seemed to show a lot of self-control for a person of her age. Someone who's in a conservatorship isn't supposed to be able to do these things. They're supposed to be out of control. They're not supposed to be able to take care of themselves properly, to take care of their finances, to um, be able to get their head around all of the admin that's necessary for them to be living their lives and so on. And so that's why someone else needs to do it for them. But in this interview, there are no signs of Britney being that person. If anything, it all seems to point to the opposite, to somebody who's beyond her years, who has a lot of self-control, who um, is adult enough to, uh, you know, show us that self-control even when Diane Sawyer is pushing her over and over again and, in my opinion, bullying her. A lot of people don't make it. And oh, they, gosh. they keep writing, you know. Will I make it? Do you like your voice? Do I like my voice? Um... What happened to your clothes? As much as she seeks the attention, does she worry that something's being given away? Brittany, on your right. Come on. Okay. Are we done? Okay. I just wonder, at the end of the day, if you ever feel you lose something. She stands up for herself really well. What's this about? No kidding. What is it about? What is it about? Yeah. It's about doing a, a, a beautiful picture. Is and it about shocking people? About shocking? You yeah. know what? I feel you know, comfortable is... in my skin. I think it's a, an okay thing to... Um, express yourself. Have you, you seen... You know I, I hate to bring this up, but Kate Hudson, she's 22, she's in sheets. Jennifer Lopez, she poses very provocatively sometimes. But Christina Aguilera, what's, what's the big deal when I do it? <laughs> like, come on! <laughs> you know? She protects her own boundaries a lot of the time with Diane Sawyer. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes every day, honey. I know, but I want to be a good person for me, but I think it's a huge pressure to think that you have to take the responsibility to be this role model. It's one thing not to want to be the role model anymore. It's another thing not to know that a lot of young girls are looking at this. A lot of them. But am I responsible for them? Aside from all of this, it's pretty depressing how Diane Sawyer thinks that Britney was being a really bad influence on young girls for kissing a woman in public. And, you know, I mean, that was, well, that wasn't even 20 years ago. You read the stories about buying $100,000 of sportswear. No, I'm not like that at all. No. Is it an addiction? Is it an addiction? No, I don't think it's, I think it's an addiction. I think it does put me, like, it makes me happy. You know, I'll go and I'll buy a hat and I'll buy some shoes and, you know, you feel pretty, you feel girly. I love that feeling. So, But no, it's not an addiction. Everything's so... No. She'd been spending a lot of time with the person who at that time was her assistant. She was a friend of the family who had also been her guardian before this time. So when her parents couldn't come along, you know, when she was touring, for instance, uh, her mum had to be at home bringing up her younger sister, Jamie Lynn, and her dad was working. And so she had this guardian and she seems to have been a positive influence. Sometimes I splurge. My assistant, Felicia, she helps me out on that. She was like, if you want it, you just get it. I'm like, okay, I'll get it. I wonder if this is why she was so good at holding her boundaries during this interview. And since then, we see somebody quite different, somebody who has, until now, not been so good at holding her boundaries, someone who's gone along and pretended everything's fine in order to suit her parents. This was posted on April the 17th, 2021, before she was recorded in court talking about wanting to get out of the conservatorship. So at this stage, she hadn't told the public what had really been going on. Next question is, am I okay? Yes, I'm totally fine. I'm extremely happy. I have a beautiful home, beautiful children. Um, I'm taking a break right now because um, 
I'm enjoying myself. She sued Sam Lufty, who was her manager at the time she entered the conservatorship, but I don't think that was actually Britney suing him for her own reasons. I think she was being the flying monkey for her parents, you know. That was what they wanted her to do, because um, her, and in the end he sued her family, because her mum told a lot of lies about him. And I say lies because I guess I'm assuming they are, or why would she have paid up? Why wouldn't it have gone to court? She said that Sam Lufty was getting her to take drugs, he was cutting off her phone lines and all of these things that he said he wasn't doing. If Britney had sued Sam Lufty for her own reasons and if she wasn't doing it for the sake of her parents, then I don't think Sam Lufty would speak about her so fondly or say how bad he feels that she was taken into a conservatorship. He refers to them as friends. Last year, Spears reportedly made $39.2 million. That's about $107,000 per day. Her reported net worth, $100 million. If Britney was worth $100 million when she was 21 and making about $107,000 a day, then why at the age of 39 is she now only worth $60 million? Isn't the point of the conservatorship to protect her assets? But she's paying her dad an absolute fortune every year. He's even been trying to get her to cover his legal fees as he fought her to keep control of her conservatorship. She built a $4.5 million house for her mother who had steered her childhood career. Every day she calls me, she's like, I love my house. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that was the coolest thing ever. It's interesting the way Diane Sawyer phrases this. I don't know if she's done it intentionally, but it does come across to me as, as if this is what was owed to her mum for guiding her childhood career, as she puts it. And I wonder if her mum sees it that way too, because her family do seem to feel entitled to having a part of Britney's business, that the brother has even called it a family business. She's been rumoured to stay in shape by doing hundreds of sit-ups a day. I don't feel completely like the best shape right now, you know, but I'm not really self-conscious about it. I know that I can better myself and be, yeah. and be in, yeah, be in better shape. I have my brother to always put me in check with that. He's like 24-7. He's like, Brittany, you know, you're, um, I need to lose some weight. So her brother is telling her 24-7 she needs to lose weight and she's very patient with it. It doesn't seem to occur to her to be annoyed with him about that. She seems so used to playing this role in the family where everyone's allowed to tell her what to do. Can you imagine how annoying it would be to have your brother telling you over and over again that you need to lose weight? Jamie Spears, Britney's dad, has argued that the conservatorship was necessary because Britney was too easily influenced and she wasn't able to protect her money from those who wanted to take advantage of her. I think that's pretty ironic considering what's happened, but was she easily influenced anyway? Like that's how I am, I'm like an open person. You know, the people around you, they become leeches, leeches, so you can't be so open sometimes. It's hard for me to let people in sometimes. Brittany was sharing that she thinks masturbation is a sacred time with yourself. She seemed to me to be feeling empowered and in touch with herself when she said this, but Diane's heavy judgment about that seems to take her off course and then she doubts herself. I have one song, it's called Touch of My Hand. That's talking about you with yourself, which is a little much, but it's a reality that we have. But I mean, do you get to have it both ways? So you know, it... I'm not that innocent. Mm -hmm. Or are you that innocent? I think we all have sides to us. I think that, um, um, yes, I can relate to that song, and like, we all can. You'd be lying if you said you couldn't, but there is a, um, I mean, it's not something that you openly talk about with a lot of people. It's something sacred, and it's something I wanted to write about, so. Sacred? No, the song, talk, Touch of My Hand, talking about indulging in yourself. And that's sacred? It is sacred to me, but in a way, exploiting it. Um, okay, I'm confusing yeah. myself right now. Brittany's in a surrender position with her arms up and her eyes closed. And we can close our eyes to avoid shame. And th this reminds me of that puppy dog 
um, rolling over that I've talked about in other videos. I wonder if she was used to doing this in her family. If you think about their personalities, they're all, I think, potentially quite intimidating. And I think what she does to escape conflict with them is to roll over. I'm just going to lean back here okay. and just... <laughs> What's the question again? Go ahead. I don't remember the question. I don't either. Okay. I have to ask a couple of things about Justin. Okay, of course. He has gone on television and pretty much said, you broke his heart, you did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? <laughs> I was upset. I was upset for a while. We both, I think we're both really young and it was kind of waiting to happen. He's, he's left the impression that, that you weren't faithful, that you betrayed the relationship. I think everyone has a side of their story. There comes a point in this interview where Britney has been pushed and pushed in a way that I think would be very humiliating for anybody, especially for somebody who's only 21. And this is what happens. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, oh, weird. Hello. Um. Oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strong Brittany. Um, yeah, it was a weird time. Ew, I'm embarrassed. Can we stop this? At this point, a different personality seems to have taken over Brittany's. Her gestures don't seem like her anymore. The way she's talking, that doesn't sound typical of how she usually talks. It seems childlike. Oh my goodness, hello. Ew, strong Britney. Notice she said strong Britney. I found this quite heartbreaking because it does seem that she's really trying to get herself to cope with this onslaught from Diane Sawyer. There was a moment earlier on, before she got emotional, where this personality seemed to come out. It's so weird sometimes that I think I'm more comfortable on stage than I am in my own room. When I get on stage, it's kind of like your chance to let go and be something that you're not, maybe. But it's your time to dream. And then I look back and I'm like, oh, okay, I just did that, you know. Did I just say that? I did. Hello. It was only there for a moment, just for her to say hello in a way that didn't really make sense to the situation. And I wonder if it comes out when she's feeling ashamed. She was remembering her braver self and maybe that was humiliating. If you're taught that you're not allowed to be yourself, because if you are, you're gonna be shamed, as I think that Brittany may well have experienced growing up in her family, then, Remembering a time when you were being yourself could be embarrassing and shameful. As is this situation with Diane Sawyer pretty much publicly accusing her of cheating on her boyfriend. I'm embarrassed, can we? This might have been a sign that Britney has dissociative identity disorder. When you have that, it's a way to manage trauma from your childhood. So the trauma has happened before the age of nine, which would make sense for Britney Spears. I talked in the last few videos about the trauma she did experience, about how her dad could be really drunk and out of control and violent. He could shout, um, throw things at the wall that would smash. He tried to drive Britney when he was drunk and then he had a physical fight with his brother. So she experienced a lot of this. You know, she was around, according to um, her father's brother, William, she was around a lot of the times that this kind of thing was going on. She's never said she has this diagnosis, so we don't know for sure, but there's been a lot of speculation in the media that she does. Dissociative identity disorder used to be known as multiple personality disorder. And the way that it's been um, presented in the media has been really negative. In 2008, there was an article in TMZ 
talking about Brittany as having multiple personality disorder and saying sources are now painting a very disturbing picture of Britney Spears or whoever she happens to be at any given moment. She's been compared to Norman Bates, the murderer in Psycho. If Britney Spears does have dissociative identity disorder, I hope that one day she'll feel comfortable to tell the world about it because it would be a great opportunity to dispel some of these myths. More than 70% of outpatients with dissociative identity disorder have attempted to commit suicide. So presenting it like this to the public is really dangerous. A publication by a New York radio station talks about sources close to Britney Spears claiming that she has this disorder. And those sources apparently say that one of her personalities is a British girl. If this is true, and if Britney wasn't just teasing the paparazzi by pretending to be British, then maybe she does have dissociative identity disorder. We can put gas for you. You, you need gas? I will. I'll put gas for you. Hey, Anna, if you need gas, I'll put it for you. Guys, use the room. Excuse me, where do you live? Do you have a restroom that you can use, please? No. Right here. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Look out, guys. You guys have a restroom? No, 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 right. Obviously right there, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can she have a restroom? She just wants to use the restroom. Right. My dear. Brittany, in the no, kitchen. No, no restroom. No restroom. She does not have a restroom. Stop. Put it down. Oh, you hold it. You hold it. All right, thank you. No, that's it. No, that's it. No, that's it. Are you going to film with Brittany? Yeah, so I'll film you guys. No restroom. No restroom. Hey, come on, could it be that the British girl handles tough situations that could otherwise be overwhelming? Like all of these paparazzi. I mean, I can't imagine living in that way. You know, have, she's just gone to buy some cigarettes and they're everywhere. When someone with dissociative identity disorder experienced that trauma, it was too much for them to handle. And if you think about it, anything traumatic that happens to us is a lot for us to deal with. And that's when we're adults. But when you're a child and you don't have support, nobody's helping you to manage these really difficult emotions and your brain hasn't fully developed yet, you just can't cope with the trauma. And so what happens is for someone with DID is they split off from each of these different personalities. So a different part of them deals with the different emotions. So they might have one personality who's very angry, for example. They might have another personality who's very sad and so on. So all the things that you're not able to cope with, you can leave in inside that personality and you don't have to be conscious of it. It's still going on without you having to think about it. So it's a coping mechanism. These personalities show themselves when you're faced with more trauma. So this interview was traumatic enough to trigger Brittany to possibly bring up this other personality. And that's how it seems to me. And I can't be sure of that. You know, she hasn't been diagnosed with this, certainly not publicly. If she does have that diagnosis, it seems that she was spot on when she said that her family were the reason that she has a mental illness in the first place. Because you don't develop DID without having experienced significant trauma in your childhood. So I'm going to leave it here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm wondering, uh, did Justin see the movie already? And what did he think of it? Yes, he saw it and he liked it. And was he a bit jealous huh? seeing you kissing with another boy? Um, no, it's just a movie. It's pretend. You're an adult, you should know that. <laughs>